So now we've come down off the gently sloping alluvial plains and bajadas of uh, the Mojave Desert. We're in elevation about 2,000 feet right here. And you can see we've entered onto this, uh, this floor of basaltic lava, which was all puked out of that giant basaltic zit over there, the Amboy Crater, roughly 80,000 years ago. You can see the lava flow. I mean, it's wonderful. You go over there, you can see, you can basically see you know, the, where the fluid cooled. It cooled so much that it was no longer fluid, got too much viscosity, and you know, you got ripple marks in the substrate still. But the plant we're looking at right here, what I want to show you is a triplex hymenolytra and some plants especially in deserts are subjected to very salty soil you get a lot of salt in desert soil because you got all that rain washing the minerals and what the shit off the surrounding mountains and into the valleys where uh, the water just then evaporates and so you get these concentrations of high salts it's so hot and it doesn't rain that much to begin with that when it does rain washes the minerals off and then the water evaporates and so this plant has a wonderful strategy for dealing with the high salt uh, concentrations of soil. And it's one of the most remarkable plants at doing so. Those plants are called halophytes. You can see, look, it's got the holly light leaves. It's, it's in the amaranth family, the spinach family, and it's a relative of quinoa. And the method that this plant employs for dealing with salt is basically taking up salts to increase its internal concentration of salts, namely in the vacuoles of the cells where it's not gonna mess with the cytoplasm. And it creates such a strong osmotic pull Okay, because it's got the inside of the, the cells of this plant have a lower water potential than the surrounding soil, which is very, very salty. Remember, salt tends to pull water out of things. And so because it's got that lower water potential, it, it uh, can actively go against the pull of the salt in the soil and, uh, and it can take up water and thrive. And then once it gets too much salt, though, it's got to find a way to dump it. And it does so by just exuding actively exuding salt crystals on its leaves which you can't really see right here but sometimes i've been out here and i've just i mean you can see the salt crystals on the outside of the leaves and then those leaves once they've exuded the salt crystals the leaves will uh will just shed so it's and it's it works you know a lot of members of this family the spinach family amaranthaceae are halo fights they grow in really salty places right from here to the atacama desert to patches of the namib desert in southern africa all right you got to give it to them the kinopode and the spinach family Amaranth they see. God, I love this stuff. Look at this rock. I love how it gets polished by the sand over time. Just though that's some heavy rock too. You can feel there's definitely some iron in there. It's mafic. You got that nice basalt and it's got all little gas bubbles and shit in there too. It's why you get uh, those uh, that texture too. Anyway, that's all I got. Have a great day. Go fuck yourself. Bye.